With two Australian General Sire Championships already on his record, a century of stakes winners now in his sights, and the best part of $400 million in prize money and yearling sale returns, Redoute's choice could be forgiven for coasting on his reputation. Instead, he keeps on behaving like the extraordinary Sire we long ago discovered he is. Redoute's choice has had 17 stakes winners around the world this season, more than any other stallion in Australia. The list is headed by his 21st Group 1 winner, Master of Design, himself bred and sold by Arrowfield, and the 8th of Redoute's Choice's 9 Group 1 winning Colts to go to stud. He also topped the Easter Sale Sire averages for the 8th consecutive year and notched up his 60th seven-figure sale yearling. More than 9% of all Redoute's Choice's yearlings sold have now made a million dollars or more. And on every key lifetime statistical measure, including stakes winners to folds, Redoute's Choice is still the king. Redoute's Choice is quite simply an Australian legend in his prime. With his dynasty well and truly founded by his sire's sons, ten of them have already sired stakes winners. Arafield stands two of his best sire's sons, Snitzel and Not a Single Doubt, and now Beneto is all set to follow their examples. Together, they give breeders tremendous opportunities to tap into everything that makes Redoute's Choice a great sire. Snitzel's had a fantastic year so far. He's had four brilliant two-year-olds in Sizzling, Snitzerland, Dances on Stars and Flying Snitzel. It's Piero coming after Snitzerland. Piero drove through, took the lead in the slipper. Gay told us months ago, and Piero won it from Snitzerland and Samaritti. Sizzling and Academus dance on stars, and then Knight Legion, Toidini down the outside. Cobain is still the leader. Sizzling on the outside, trying to get to Cobain. It's Cobain and Sizzling. Sizzling and Cobain. Sizzling gets level. Sizzling got up on the line and won the TJ, I'd say, from Cobain. He's also had two very good three-year-olds, Aliana Tilda and Hot Schnitzel. But Hot Schnitzel in front, Manonui makes a late lunge, but Hot Schnitzel beat Manonui by a head. Peter, he seems to be working with a wide variety of broodmare sire lines. Well, that's exactly right, John. In fact, every single stakes winner by Schnitzel is out of a mare with a different dam sire. And that's good news for breeders because they've got a wide range of choices in terms of their broodmare band that they can put to them. And I think it's also having an influence on the the distances that the Snitzels are running over, where we might have thought he was just going to be a sire of sprint, has he's shown some real versatility. And Peter, it's no surprise that uh, Snitzel is going so well because he's following in the footsteps of our other son of Redoute's choice, Not A Single Doubt. Well, he is, John, and Not A Single Doubt already is well known as a proven uh, source of two-year-old speed and uh, they're consistent horses, they try hard. And the remarkable thing about him is that also, like Snitzel, Every single stakes winner is out of a mare by a different dam size. So we're seeing the sons of Redoute's choice impart the ability to leave stakes winners by a number of different sire lines. Always certain and clear for action, run on strongly. Always certain out right, wide, went up to the lead. Clear for action coming with him. It's always certain just in front, clear for action. Speed baby runs on well, but always certain in front of the raffles. Always certain takes it out. Now he too has had a very good year with his two-year-olds. I think he's currently sixth on the two-year-old sires list. And, of course, his three-year-olds include the brilliant Karuta Queen. Karuta Queen, she kicks early in the straight, led by a length and a half, Armour Rock, Miss Stella Bell. Karuta Queen goes away by two. Karuta Queen runs the 1,200 right out, won it by three, going away brilliantly. He's really proving to be a very versatile stallion, and I think a lot of breeders who are looking to get the Emir off to a good start at stud with a, a proven sire are choosing not a single doubt. And of course they've sold very well at the sales. They're very well sought after by trainers who see them as genuine um, and consistent performers. Definitely, and I think you can get sometimes a, a not a single doubt that maybe doesn't have a lot of pedigree on the page, but he leaves great types and they can sell well above their page. Now our other son of Redoute's choice, Beneteau, is out of a very fast mare, but by Encosta de Largo, who in some respects is noted for his stamina. What do you expect from him? I would expect Beneteau to, to be like not a single doubt in Snitzel, to work with a wide variety of mares, um, but I think we'll see the same names propping up. I think we'll see the Sir Tristram line, we'll see Last Tycoon, um, we'll see perhaps even Danzig effectively uh, duplicated in the pedigree. So again, I would expect Beneteau to be an effect simile of the other two. Beneteau gets into the clear, Palazzotti on the outside, General Truce has the lead, but here's Beneteau winding up now in the arrow field colours. It's Beneteau taking the lead, drawing away in the Sydney Colt. 
Wow, he's impressive too. Benito, two and a half pedals on him. And at a fee of $11,000, he looks like he's great uh, value. Tremendous value. I mean, you know, the horse was so popular in his first season. And breeders that um, want to get that advantage of the second crop at the sales, that the first crop ran well, you know, and out of a blue diamond place getter, they're very liable to run well. I think we could see a real run on the horse in the second season.